Uh, we're, we're still very early in the 5G journey. About one of, two, one of five sites are upgraded to mid-band. And it's really only when we get the mid-band that you get the performance you want from a 5G network. That's when you can get the speed. And then we need to migrate to standalone. And we're still not, it's still only you know, 20 networks roughly launched on standalone. So it's not very late in the cycle. We're still very, very early. What can you say about your own profits coming from 5G at this point? It's an important part for us. So, so of course, you know, the, the networks that we sell and that we upgrade today and we modernize gets prepared for 5G. So it's hard today to start to separate between 4G and 5G. They're actually very meaningful, both of them. To what extent are we seeing just India doing a lot of heavy lifting for the 5G market? Because it feels as though some of the strength has now started to fade in the North American market. Europe at this point has been challenged by a, a very difficult environment when it comes to revenues. Is it just India that's growing? <laughs> India is really pursuing a, a strategy that should be seen in a bigger context. It's really digitalizing India that we're talking about. And, and that's what's happening. You see that on ID cards, you see it in the whole society. And of course, the investments in a 5G network follows that. So I think India is a very interesting case for what you can do with, with a communication network. And I'm convinced that in, within a few quarters, India will have one of the strongest 5G networks in the world and probably start to drive innovation on top of the network well before many other countries. Can I ask you about the really sexy part of the industry around 5G, and that's enterprise. Nokia has fleshed out that they're going after this market as well. You've been talking about the use cases in this area of the market for a long time. 15% uh, growth you saw in the, the recent numbers. How competitive is it in enterprise at this stage? Uh, we see, the, and our strategy remains very firm. It's to basically develop the mobile network market, enhance our leadership there, but also to gradually move into enterprises. And we're doing that in two ways. One is to basically leverage the wireless networks. So we call it enterprise wireless solutions. It includes our cradle point offerings. There we're very competitive and we're market leaders in North America. And we have a really good position to grow outside both with the cradle point offering as, as well as dedicated networks and you'll see a couple of uh, new products launched here uh, during mobile world congress but the other part is also exciting it's actually leveraging the network and the capabilities of the network to drive next generation call it digitalization of industries and society and that's really where our acquisition of vonage plays a role and that is something we're very excited about. And you will see a number of showcases here as well about that. Can I ask you